Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these new uh, California Pizza Kitchen crispy flatbread. This is the barbecue chicken recipe. They were 333 at Kroger, um, so they're not cheap, that's for sure. There are two pizzas in the box, and um, this is grilled white meat chicken, onions, cilantro, gouda, and reduced fat mozzarella cheeses, and sweet and tangy barbecue sauce on a flatbread crust. Preservative free crust, 100% real cheese, no artificial flavors. 200 calories per pizza or flatbread or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to them out before I get any further. That's what they look like. Um, 200 calories each. Uh, Sodium's not bad. Cholesterol's not bad. No, it's really too bad. So, microwave. We're going to do. Um, okay. Um, remove flatbread from, flat from the plastic wrap. Place it on the crisping tray, silver side up. Place flatbread near edge of turntable on microwave for best result and microwave on high as follows. And we are right around in here, so we're gonna do two and a half minutes. And let's stand. I think I think that one's actually at a thousand, but I, I can't I don't know that for sure. You can also do it in the oven, but it takes a little while. So so two two and a half minutes in the microwave. And here's what they look like. Not too bad. Uh, there's, they're kind of small, but, but that's okay. Um, I may actually eat both of these since they're 200 calories each. Um, I don't know. We'll see what, what, what I think about the first one. So I'm going to get these in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven in the microwave. I did take a knife and like um, separate it from the tray because so, it was stuck really bad. But it looks, um, looks kind of dried out. The next one, if I do another one, I'll probably do the lower setting. Um, what was the other one? It was uh, 155, so I'll probably do 155 um, next time because that looks a little, I don't know. It may not be, it may not be bad. So I'm going to let this cool off because it's really, really hot, and I'll be back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off. I'm going to take a bite. Um, about right here, there's no chicken there, so I may have to take a piece of chicken off the other bite, but I'm going I'm to see what it tastes like. I like the breading. I like the flavor of the cheese and the, and the onions, and I like the flavor of the sauce. Um, it is dingy chicken in that one. Let me see. Chicken's a little dry, but it could be because I microwaved a little bit longer. Sorry. Took a big bite. Um, that's good. I like the flavor of it. It does have the barbecue sauce is sweet, but it also has a little bit of a spice, a little bit of a of a tang is the best word best word to describe it. Um, you know, like almost a not vinegary, but it's you know got that little bit of sharpness to it. Um, the onions are sweet onions. The um, the chicken's a little dry, but like I said, that could be from the microwaving. The crust is really, really crispy. Lesser microwave probably would fix that too. Cheese has a good flavor. The sauce is, I mean, it's all really, really good. Um, would I buy this again? Maybe. It's a little expensive for three over $3 for a little bit of pizza like this. It's kind of expensive, although I guess any of the frozen... Um, Lean cuisines or whatever those little frozen pizzas, I guess they're about the same, about the same price. And this is, uh, these are 200 calories a piece too, as well. And those are probably a little bit more, right around that same number. So I guess overall the price is okay. Um, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Like I said, it, the microwave time I think would vary. You'd have to play around with it to get the right number for you. But, um, but I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with a three and a half. But the flavor is not like the boldest flavor I've ever had. That's why I'm not gonna give it like a four, but um, but three and a half safe. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I'm gonna give you a brief follow-up. I did this one for the 155 and uh, it's much better. It's not as hard. Um, I mean, it's crispy, but it's not as hard as the other one. It's not as dried out. Uh, the chicken's good and tender, much better. So um, if your microwaves are at around a thousand, just be on the safe side. Maybe go a little lower, I don't know. You, you, you decide that, but lower microwave time did help it out. 